Hey, what's going on? Back with another one. Back with another one. We talk about a little another history moment. Um, we talk about the history of writing. Appreciate the views that y'all gave me. Yeah, let's talk about the history of writing. Just a little, just a little something, just a little something, something. Uh, we talked about it last week, right? History of writing. Well, since we're going to talk about Indos Valley, we ain't going to go too deep into it because I did a live stream. You can check whatever but Indos valley is basically the areas that we're gonna go through so we i'm gonna read this through it says throughout the pages yep and they were all you know to my albinos we're gonna skip through that because i don't want to show you that but then the handwork and real mock-up images and all that stuff you can go on the website and defute that and the dna and europeans we're gonna skim past that we're gonna skim past that well here are the ancient europeans they say So, okay. All right. Let's see this real quick. I'm just going to, you know, share the screen a little bit. I'm not going to go in too deep. We're going to share it. Um, We're going to, yeah, I'm going to put it on the screen. Yeah, put it on the screen. I'm talking in the background. You know, I'm still here. You know, I'm just saying. Okay, it says, well, here are the ancient Europeans. So what do you mean by ancient? Is people before the, the so-called uh, white man or whatever you want to call them, albinos, whatever. Okay, it says city sculptures portraying the face of the earliest known Eastern European. But the modern human, the modern human school of a black, uh, uh, of a black person or constructed from fragments found and priesters or the Osas, you know, in the cave, whatever. I've seen this on video talking about the first European and all this, the Grimaldi man and all that going to what they would look like back in the old days. And then you have the Sangre man, ancient, you know, before they call you of Vladimir Russia. And this is 26,000 BC, BCE. Um, and then you got this guy we showed you the last time. The, 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 um, constant, we, we the, that guy we showed you the last time with um the history of writing you see this bus before but there's different versions of it and then you got the ancient egyptians they were what you would call modern day africans today but in the scriptures they call them ham right but we ain't gonna get into yaffet and ham see when i talked about the yaffites i was talking about the old um these people were Yafites in some degree, but it, you know, add mixtures of the Turks. They done came in. Those are Semitic people or whatever groups of people. It's different now. Everybody's modernized. Everybody's got their own nations. I'm not gonna get into that in scriptures and, and adding this. Shouts out to this dude right here, Rural History www.com. He breaks it down. And we're talking about in the modern history since we look at them as what you say, Europe and what they will say Africa in a sense. But we know those are names from other peoples, but he talks about that as well while i'm talking but i'm just saying like in this research right here the ancient egyptians were what they would call in lot of people call them, i don't give a damn about that but we know damn well this right here that's proven so this website and they said the, the, there are two kinds of modern egyptians they said there's two kinds of modern egyptians you got the anatolians that's called turkey and then you got the Arabians. So you broke this down. You got you got Anatolians. That's Turkey now, known as Turkey now. Arabians. And then the Middle Easterners, generally, the two, they said, the generally, they said the white and the mulatto ones are Turks, the Ottoman Turks. So a third of people are Ottoman Turkish. So basically, they're saying the so-called Arab, he's an Ottoman Turk. The modern-day Arab really is Ottoman Turk now. But the darker ones, you already know, they scattered all in Africa. But that's a whole nother story. That's a whole piece on this. This breaks down who's who. But the ancient Egyptians, yes, they were darker skinned people. But, you know, most people are admixtures of nations and cultures change, you know, but we ain't going to get into that. So, again, you got the modern Egyptians. The modern Egyptians, you say, yeah, we know the modern Egyptians were every complexion of man. What you got over there in the so-called uh, Middle East is all the same continent in Asia and the one. I forget what that's called, but it's all the same. It's all Asia. And this is part of a different type of Asia. They call it Africa because named after um, Scipio Africans. So I'm going to keep referencing that because 
that's a white man's Roman name. They came in there and dominate what you would say Africa today. But these are modern Egyptians. I was talking like this back 12 years ago with different videos and things like that. And now modern day Persians, aka Iranians or Iranians, well, you know, I ain't gonna talk about what's going on over there, but these are the people what they would look like modern, the actual people. We're not stereotyping, we're just saying, and look at their military. Yes, they have a Marines, they have a Marine history, they have a Marine uh culture. Yes, those people Iran uh, Iranians have a Marine. Everybody has a branch. You'd be surprised what I've learned a lot. And then you got the modern Arabs. Um, scriptures, they will say Ishmaelites, but they Arabs, you know, this is what they dress. This is their culture. You know, that's Islam. Of course, that's a whole nother story on this, but they, they believe that over here. Now I'm not dissing anything. I'm just saying what it is, but no one really cares for them that much, but this is how they give it up. But they in conflict, but we're not going to talk about the politics of these people and we're gonna go we're gonna leave it here uh, hold on i'm gonna show myself for a minute and i'm just gonna i gotta skim through the nonsense you know what i'm saying like we're gonna fast forward you know i don't want to care about the research here here we go here we go here we go back to it back to it back to it okay um central asia now central asia where Indos Valley would be considerably. This is modern. It's in the areas of Kazakhstan. Russia's above that. You got China. You got, um, I think, Uzbekistan or something like that. Turkestan, Kyrgyzstan, and all up in these areas, all in the close of China. This is Indos Valley, up in this region, these countries that you see today located. Indos Valley is a big, big thing. It's just not going to tell you a whole lot. So it's really much the same, but I ain't got much time. I'm I'm on borrow, so we're going to get into it. And they said the most, they said, the mo though most Dravidian albinos left Central Asia for Europe from ancient times due to Mongol pressure or desire for better lands. Some Dravidian albinos remain in Central Asia, but their descendants are clearly visible there today. So no understanding age and, and they talk about albinos and blacks and all that, you know, store front and all that. And you see the difference complexities and the cultures and all that. We're going to skim right through it. And then the haplo group, he talks about that. We're just going to look at what's what Dravidians and all that. You know, we already know that. No this here, but it's just a little educational stuff. But um, let me skim through this. I'm going to maximize myself over here and, you know. You get the gist of the haplo group, but Shasta dude again, you know, he breaks it down. I ain't gonna get into no arguments like that. And the original dispersal, the age of R1 estimated, and they try to say 2008 between 12,500 to 25,700 BP, but mostly occurred about 18,500 years ago since the earliest known examples belong to the R1B1A R. L274. If you if you know what I'm talking about genetics, um, here's what I'm reading from, you know, and this is the stuff that um I talk about a little DNA and research, the proto-Indo-European, the proto-Indo-European. So you already know the breakaway. There's a core of war, Yamana, or something like that. These are the areas that you will see that how they broke off and went to different parts of the world. So, and you know, and you know, I'm just gonna skim through a lot, you know, I'm not gonna just maximize myself but i have to maximize this because i'm not trying to start a flare up here you know what i'm saying but you know they got the actual people you know i'm not trying to get popped over here you know how youtube would be and then you got the australian aborigine you know we already know about all that i'm not gonna get into that y'all can go look this for yourself it's called uh real history www.com world history you know to my endos value you can look this for yourself and then you got the other indians you know I'm, i ain't got time to look at the racial stuff that's not what we're here for. We're here for the evidence. Is there a place called Indos Valley? Yes. And this is the culture. This is very tricky because this is hard to explain from a perspective that a lot of people don't talk about. They talk about all the other stuff. But what about Indos Valley, the history of coastal India? This is the problem right here. I talked about it in several streams and things like that. And twice on dark history streams, you can 
go look for yourself and then ask yourself that what is the purpose of it okay the purpose of doing this is to explain that a lot of history has been ramified you know what i mean because a lot of history you just got to understand what from the angle it is okay sometimes around 6000 bce a nomadic herding people who some known the thing to be dravidians they call them dravidian people right settle into the village in the mountainous region just the west of the indus the indus river but they are grew they grew barley and wheat they grew barley and wheat and harvesting and using in the uh, sickles harvesting harvesting it and using sickles with with flint blades that you know sickles with flint blades are very sharp but they lived in the small houses built with an adult bricks but after after about 5000 bce the climate in their region changed bringing more rainfall which apparently enabled the, uh, them to grow more food and for they to gave in the population but domestically sheep goats cows and then water buffalo so yeah they have all types of animals that did that so that's the areas they were in in those river and all this stuff and these were probably descendants of dravidian people or dravidian species or whatever you want to call it these um like i said in the scriptures you know that that's proven they moved around a lot everybody was on one side and then they moved over you know times has changed land and all that stuff and then you got the burial of a woman infant of the harper that's a burial that's a burial that's the closest you're gonna get antiquity wise and then you see the symbolisms and all this other stuff and they said the modeled it's not that much on in those valleys so in those valley is is basically and then you got the rituals and the and the stuff i'm not gonna read all that i mentioned this before that's the city they said lay waste and there's walls that's what it looked like it says a partially exact uh exactivated exactivated in those valley city known as the manju doro the manju doro or the mount of the dead Mount of the dead real name unknown circa around 3000 bce and that's what it says under here on the picture i don't have to read all this because i read this on streams you can find and i mentioned that it, it's it goes to show you and then there's another like you see how that was back in the day so back in the day it was really much simple it ain't that much this is a short one because I'm short on time because next time I'll go longer. But this one is morally like an illustration of what I'm going to talk about in history and context. And the other, we're going to talk about Hannibal just a little bit. And we'll have that in, in, in force. So you see all the harvesting, the ox. So, yeah, you see the statues. And that's what they would look like. The Manji Doro Priest King, 2600 BCE. That's what the actual statue of the people probably look like, guessing. And then you have what they look like in symbols and all that stuff. Yes, they were darker skinned people, but even though they don't know what happened to them, and that's what happened, and that's what it looks the artist rendering of Lothal. See, it's not that much on Indos Valley. You know, Indos Valley's got a lot of traditional stuff that it's basically Indos Valley. So, Indos Valley is very interesting. Um, this is the history that people do not talk about. The reason they don't talk about Indos Valley is because India is very vast. It's um, a history upon history. So, I'm going to stop sharing the screen, but you know what I'm saying? I'm done with it. But we're going to cut it short here. But the reason the history is like, there and shouts out to the dude again once again he gives you provide the research and whatever and there's other research you can talk about i could explain that in the future um video by indos valley and explain this reference right here i feel that people don't research this part of the eastern asia and all connected what you would say africa whatever all the worlds it's because a lot of history has been splintered but the people that do the archaeology and the research, they're still digging. They're still digging over here, too, in the Americas to see what's what and who's the people over here. But you got to understand how the world works. A lot of people ain't going to teach you this in uh, colleges and schools because it's kind of forbidden. They want you to go by the basic history of what you say a man, but it's not true. They lie all the time, like dude said. And, and this is what they do. They get paid to lie and be on television. So I'm telling you the truth why this history is so important why do we get to see this stuff and then you got niggas trying to spin shit and try to say i do it no niggas y'all do it because y'all stole it from me because back in 20 y'all was copying me i see the formula out there y'all just speaking for me 
that we had channels like this talked about. But you niggas that get paid be on a, a um what you call it on TV and lying about where you got it from. But that's a whole nother time. I'm not going to talk about this on this educational video over here. But but you got dummies out here believing what they want to believe anyway. So, yeah, in those valleys, another one of those cases that it got lost in history and things like that. A lot of people just a lot of people just get. Um, a lot of people just get that and, and just expect people to just, you know, I forgot to turn that off. That was in the game in the background. Apologize for that. But, you know, that that's just goes to show you that where we at is as a people. So. And then I'm just not going to just tolerate and figure out like you know what's going on here like you know and that's just that's it that's basically what i'm saying right now is just like you know as some in the background apologize for that you know but you know i had a little little mishaps you're gonna hear a lot of the weird shit but i should have turned everything off in the background but you know when you have the headphones on it blocks out sound that's cool but sometimes you got to have a pure quietness acoustically like lowness in your room you got to have your old focus so when you're talking in a in a somewhat of a studio you have your own little, little thing but i don't have a studio i'm in the you know the room as usual you see you know cam up but i still got a microphone it don't matter i'm showing you evidence i'm showing you this is what i do i don't do the other stuff like most niggas do claiming that they're scholars they're not you know i have my own scholarly i do my own research and i read and i read correctly and then i read other things i'm not gonna debate no People that deals with neuro uh, neuroscience and all that shit, them niggas ain't that smart. They dumb as hell when they debate somebody. I bring facts. I'm not gonna argue and scream. That's you niggas. Y'all don't do research. I got the research. They can't tell me nothing about their research because it's bullshit. It holds no weight. We heard it before twelve years ago. Ain't nobody buying that shit. It's not about a belief. It's bullshit. Prove it. They can't prove it. They can't debate me or nobody. I'm not wasting my uh, debating a nigga that don't know shit. I've been doing this a lot longer than them. Just because they have a, a degree in neuroscience don't mean they smart. They're still idiots in the day. They can't they can't do it in front of the white man. Or so-called white man, by the way. So fuck them. I'm talking about the ones that believe in that shit. Now, I ain't saying you got you cool, but don't act like you. No, niggas don't fuck with you like that. You'll lose. They fold under pressure. I never fold under pressure against those people. I did it years ago. It's not impressive. It's boring, bro. They're dumb as a rod. The average of them and, and our, our own people are dumb. Most Americans are utilitarian uh, slash uh, liberals. They're idiots. They're derelicts. They don't care about this type of research because if you, if you don't care about Indus Valley research, you're just proving what's wrong with the world today. And they like this generic utilitarian history. And that's what's killing them. That's what's killing us. So we got to stop that and just pretend that that's not real. But this is real. So with that, shalom to the people of Israel and the Gentiles as always. And until the next time. And yes, I'll be streaming um, this coming, the the uh, the dump pump day, the DHD, uh, the dump pump, the daily hump dump or, or something like that. The DHD, you know, just the dot pump daily that's what we call it and but it's 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 a regular time like we did with the uh independent thinking series but it's every other wednesday so you already know what time it is and be on the lookout for that and yeah this video explains in those valley that's all i gotta say that's all i got and i'm not gonna extend it even further so with that until next time i'm signing off and i'm out